You don't think that would ever happen? Firefighter Shane Holtzclaw recently had to rescue his own daughter, Emma. It was just one of those freak accidents. Like millions of kids, Emma has a fidget spinner. But when she was playing with it a couple of weeks ago, one of the metal bearings inside came loose. And then it flew out, and then it um, went into my mouth. Emma started choking. Her dad gave her back blows until she started breathing. At the hospital, an x-ray revealed that she ended up swallowing the metal piece about the size of a quarter. Be careful with them. An accident can happen at any time. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is investigating incidents involving fidget spinners. Last month in Houston, a 10-year-old needed surgery to remove a bearing caught in her esophagus. And in Oregon, Caden Boyd also needed surgery after he swallowed this bearing. I think parents need to educate their children about the risks of these. Dr. Nina Shapiro is from UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital. So I think just not to give these to younger children, children under six, and for the older children to really explain that these are toys, but they also have risks. They should not be put in their mouths. They should not be taken apart. Holtzclaw is sharing his daughter's story for one reason. I don't want to see a parent have to go through what, what, I, what I went through. I don't want to see a kid choke. Don Champion, CBS News, Dallas.